Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So, you know, I love skincare. I love skincare products and I've been really intrigued by the Korean skincare products, the, the five step products uh, or five steps to making your skin look amazing or the 10 steps if you want to up your game. But it's a minimum of five steps with the Korean skincare products. And so I was asked to test these two bad boys by a, a group and the Go Selly Beauty team sent these to me so they were free of charge and asked me to try these out for a week or two. So I've actually had an opportunity to test these out for more than probably a week or two with the exception of when I had to leave town and I really like them. I, I'm hooked. I'm addicted. I need to find out if these come in travel sizes because I was gone for nine days and I was having a hard time without these products. I really, really enjoy them and you are going to see me use them in a moment and see why I like them. So I'm hoping you enjoy this video. You can purchase these products on Amazon and I'm going to have those links below. I do highly recommend you try these out because I don't think you are going to be disappointed whatsoever. These products I use both daytime and nighttime. So after I've taken off my makeup, I do really enjoy using this toner. It just kind of quiets the skin. It leaves it fresh and it doesn't feel like it has stripped the skin. It doesn't feel like I have used an astringent where it's really harsh and kind of aggravates the skin. This actually feels really soothing. It's cool. It is uh, it doesn't have a smell to it, but again, it doesn't strip the skin. The other thing that I liked about it is it doesn't leave like a film on the skin. I don't know if you've ever tried some products, but after you've used it, it kind of feels like you've used a product on your skin. This is not the case. So this absorbs into your skin really nice. It feels cooled, it feels refreshed, and your skin does feel a lot more hydrated. And then I follow it up with this barrier cream. So the barrier cream, again, is a, another wonderful product. I can use it, and this is rare, ladies, this is rare. For my skin, I am oily. And so typically I don't use a cream under my skin before I put on my foundation because all it does is pop the foundation right off my face. And so today you can see I went ahead and you're going to see this in a moment. I put on the, the cream and I finished my makeup look, which is what I have on today. And it, I've already filmed another video. I've been outside. I've done a few other things. And you can tell that my, 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 whew, I have not had any coffee. Um, you can tell that my foundation is not lifting. And so it's setting still really nice given the time frame that I've had, how long I've had this on my face. So I'm really excited about that. So let me tell you a little bit about both products so that you can understand a little bit more. Um, this biometric water clarifies and provides deep hydration to dry and sensitive skin. Again, on combo to oily, and I love it. The biometric water, aka biomineral water, is considered to be the closest ingredient to your skin's natural hydration texture, which is exactly why it just soaks into your skin and it feels amazing and plump. This is hypoallerger hypoallergenic. Again, I can't speak. I haven't had enough coffee and it's recommended for all skin types including those who have sensitive skin it is an effective prep pre prep product before applying creams and serums for greater absorption protects and strengthens the skin barrier from the external environment so this again is an amazing product and it does say a like skin which makes sense so the next part to the Korean beauty is the cream. So this is recommended as the second step after toner. The barrier cream provides intensive moisture to the skin, assists in reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. And who doesn't want to get rid of fine lines and wrinkles? Erase them. Put me in a dryer. Let it take out all my wrinkles. Here we go. Strengthen and protects the skin barrier while providing deep moisture to the skin. That's the other thing that I really like about it. It provides moisture to the skin, but your skin absorbs it. So again, it's not leaving that barrier or that filmy kind of feeling on your skin 
where you don't have to wait an enormous amount of time for your skin to finally absorb it. This just kind of moves right into the skin. It feels flawless. It feels wonderful and it smells natural. It does not have a really strong scent. So for anyone that has issues with smell or scents that gives them headaches, this one is not going to give you a headache. So dropping back to the toner, um, again, you're going to see me use a couple pumps on a cotton pad and soak it in the toner. I'm going to put it all over my dry face and neck, working your way up to your forehead. I kind of started on my forehead and probably worked my way down, but hey, you know, I'm using it a different way. And then after you apply the toner, you're going to squeeze a pea sized amount all over your face, work in circular motions um, up to your forehead, finish off with your daily sunscreen or BBC CC cream. Whew, I'll tell you, not having coffee in a few days really um, adds, adds a layer of um, the ability of me not being able to talk. Holy crud, I feel like I'm a little bit of an old granny rapper. I also hope you try them out because I am going to be a repeat buyer now that I have used these. I really like these and I mean I just enjoy that the skin absorbs it and feels very very plump. So again, if you want to try these, I'm going to put those links below. If you have tried these products, let me know. I, again, I've been absolutely intrigued by the Korean skincare products and the five to 10 steps. I think really they are onto something as far as cleansing the skin, getting your pH, your balances right in the skin and really moisturizing and getting in deep so that you truly have moisturized. You're just not packing product on the face and that, that leaves a film on the face. So I really, really enjoy these. So I want to say thank you to the Goselli beauty team for sending me these. I was absolutely amazed and astonished that y'all picked me and I'm absolutely 100% grateful because I'm in love with this product. So if you want to see how I've used this product and I will show you what my foundation and powdered look right after I have done um, put these products on, I went ahead and put a snapshot on that also so that you can see that it is just setting really nice. It's not pushing my foundation away. It's not getting that mottled kind of oily look which happens on my skin if I do use most moisturizers right before I apply a foundation. You're just going to see that the foundation went and set very nice. And if you're looking now, you obviously know it's set really nice, but that's a little bit of a spoiler alert. So anyways, I hope you like this video. Stay tuned for a few more bits and I look forward to talking okay, to so you soon. After I wash my face, I will take the doctor's care Bio Plus N Alike Skin, and this stuff is amazing. So I usually will put that on a cotton round. However, in my little studio, I only have cotton balls. So let's see, the smell, there really isn't much of a smell to it. However, it's just kind of clean. What I like about this toner is that some toners that I put on my face feels like it strips my face or they have an excess amount of um, scent to it. This one's not like that. This is just really nice light. It's refreshing, but it doesn't, it doesn't feel like it strips your skin, but it also doesn't feel like it leaves a film on your skin, which is exactly why I like it. I like that it has this little pump here so that when you put your cotton around, or in this case, a cotton ball on top, you can just squeeze out how much you need. I really, really like that. And it just, again, it's refreshing without a harsh chemical smell or feel. It doesn't strip and it doesn't leave a film or a haze on your skin. So again, I really like it. It says it's um, it does not contain mineral oil. It has a protective skin barrier. It's moisture protecting. It's rich in nutrients and it's soothing for the skin. 
that is everything that it has in English and as you can see from the bottle well maybe you can't um, I can't read the rest of it but I really really like this so now let's move over to the doctor's care bio plus in barrier cream again it has all the same claims of there's no mineral oil it's a protective skin barrier it's moisture protecting rich in nut nutrients and soothing for the skin so again we have this and the only thing that um, I was afraid to travel with both of these when I, I went to go see my grandmother my grandmother ended up being very sick was that these were too big to travel with me so I'm hoping when I go on their website I'll find smaller sizes so that I could take this with me traveling so we're gonna look at this cream here and again what I like about this is for almost everything that I just said about the toner it has a light almost I don't want to say earthy but a very natural earthy to me sometimes this just smells clean and fresh but it doesn't like I have to inhale kind of deeply to get it and I've got a really strong nose so for anyone that does not do well with a very high scented product you're gonna like this because it's what smell or fragrance is there is just more natural kind of a very plant type smell but it's so light you're not gonna notice the other piece about this that I love is that even though I have oily skin this does not set off my oils I'm huge into hydrating. I'm always putting on a mask of some sort and I'm always doing oils on my face. I'm always looking to hydrate my face. What I love about this compared to most moisturizers is this, your, your skin soaks it in. Again, it doesn't have a high smell. It hydrates and your skin just kind of really feels refreshed. So I do love using this combination because again, my skin is just absolutely attracted to it. It loves this combination. And typically, most of the time, I can't, I have to be careful, like I can wash my face before I put on um, anything else prior to makeup, but a lot of times the moisturizers kind of push out my my foundations and so it's really hard for me to wear a moisturizer even if I've let it set in for a long period of time this one just doesn't give me any pushback which I really really like so now you've got to see how I've used this product and in a moment you're gonna get to hear a all bit right more. so I've primed my face now I've put on my my foundation and I've added a creamy bronzer so I went ahead and set my face and as you can see that even though I just moisturized it is not pushing on my skin it's not pushing on the foundation and it my foundation is setting really nice on the skin so I did want to at least show you that since I went right into my makeup routine very quickly after I had put on the moisturizer so just wanted to give you a little bit of a an overview there thank you so much for watching this video and me using the Korean skincare for doctors care the bio alike skin products I really really enjoy this toner this toner is off the hook absolutely amazing and is a must-have for all my beauty ladies and men this is fantastic I can't get I cannot express enough how wonderful this toner is without leaving a, a film on your skin or without stripping your skin it just feels fantastic and amazing and then to follow it up with the barrier cream absolutely have enjoyed using this I can't say enough about the barrier cream I like how it feels on my skin I like how my skin absorbs the products and uses it versus 
kind of, you know, the products don't exactly absorb, it doesn't feel good, and you feel like you have a mess. Now for dry skin ladies, you probably don't have those issues as much as say someone like me that has very oily skin. The other thing I like is that it is for sensitive skin also, and even though my skin is very oily, it can flare up and it can be, it can be a bit of a disaster. A total disaster. I have no lies to tell. This one does not irritate my skin. It does not make my skin flare. It does not make my skin feel... Sometimes it just hurts. And you guys have seen in some of my other videos how my nose sometimes will crack around here, which makes no sense for an oily skin, but it does. And this just does not, it does not bother that. It kind of soothes it. So anyways, I hope you have an opportunity to try this product. If you have, please put your comments below. If you haven't and you have questions before you purchase this product, please add those below. I really think you guys are gonna love this product as much as I do. So anyways, I hope you have a great day and remember you have a choice, so make it a wonderful one. Until next time.